In this lesson, we're going to be looking at Elton John's song, Can You Feel The Love Tonight? This is a really great arrangement because you'll learn some new voicings and you'll also be incorporating one new non-diatonic chord. This means that it contains a note outside the scale of C major. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to look at the few different voicings that we might be using in this arrangement. Some of them are a little bit tricky, so it's important to get them down first before we start learning it. So before we start learning the arrangement, we're going to be looking over these slash chords or what we also call um, inversions. So you'll often see this as a chord slash another note. So this means we put that note in the bass. So our first one is going to be a G over B. That means we have a G chord with a B note in the bass. So we're going to be playing that like this. So we've got a B in the bass. We're not going to be playing anything on the E string. And then we've got just a G note on the third fret of the E string. Now we're also going to play this like that, which is when we have our third fret on the B string. This gives us our note D. So there's two ways to play it. With an open B or with the D. So there'll be some parts in the arrangement where we do need this note in D. The second one is an F over A, just a normal F chord, but we're going to have our open A in the bass. And we're not going to play the open E string down the bottom. Third one is a C over G, that's just our normal C chord, but we want to get this G in the bass. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch that finger out, replace it with this one, and then use this to cover our G on the third fret of the E string. Now our next chord is going to be our non-diatonic chord. This is the B flat. So there's two ways we're going to play this. We're going to play a B flat over F, which is a third, third second version, which is going to be so we've got D string 3rd fret, G string 3rd fret, B string 3rd fret, and then F on the 1st fret. This gives us our B flat over F. To play our B flat in the root position, we're going to take this finger, and we're going to move it down to the 1st fret of the A string. So we're going to need both of them for the arrangement. Now in the chorus, we have four new chords. We have a F over C. So again, F chord, but we want a C in the bass. Now C is on the third fret of the A string. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to switch this around with that. And then we're going to use this finger to play the third fret of the A string. So I have... 2nd fret of the G string, and then 1st fret of the B string. We're not going to be playing this open E. The next one is an F over G. Now this is special because the G is not actually part of the F chord. So this is actually sort of acting like a G sus chord. But the reason why we call it this is we want a specific voicing. We want that F triad over a G in the bass. So we're going to take our F chord again. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to switch this finger for that. And then I'm going to use this finger to do the G on the third fret of the E string. And then lastly, we have a C major seven over G. This is going to be a C major seven. So make our C shape and then take your first finger off. So that gives us a C major seven. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna switch this finger for that and use this finger to get that G on the third fret of the E string.
So the intro to the song is it has a really strong melody and a really nice chord sequence. We're going to be using a descending bass line, which is kind of what we were doing in No Woman No Cry. Now we really want to make sure that we're going to be playing the chords first and then the melody second, and then we're going to incorporate the two together. Really important to take it slowly and use a metronome to start with. Get the voicings under your hands and then once you've got it all together, we can start speeding it up. Now our chords are going to be C, G over B, F over A, C over G, F over A, C, and then we're going to be doing what we call double stops, which are just two note voicings, G over B, but the D is going to be in the melody, so we're only playing these two notes. B on the second string, I mean the second fret of the A string, and then open D, and then third fret, second fret to make a C, and then fifth fret, third fret, and then moving up to the next set of strings, an E on the second fret of the D string, and a G. An open G. So that last bit sounds like this. So we put the melody with the chords. We've got just a straight open C. And then we're going to change to our G. But the D on the third fret of the B string is going to be the melody note. So we don't want to play anything higher than that. Straight after that though, we're going to hit that G on top of it. So we have... And then F over A, it's just going to be a straight F over A, but our melody is going to be on right on the top, first fret of the E string. And then again, pluck it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make our C over G shape, but we're going to keep that F barred at the top. And then I'm going to take it off. So we have and then we're going to go down that C arpeggio. There. And then our F over A, but our melody note is going to be an A, which is the second fret of the G string. So we're not going to play anything higher than that. And then C, but our G, open G, is going to be the melody note. So we don't want anything higher than that either. That's the note you want to ring out. And then down our C arpeggio, starting on the C arpeggio. And then just those double stops. I'd recommend using your fingers for this at this stage. <laughs> 